Hello, everybody. How are you? <laughs> all right. You all know this gorgeous lady here. And she's going to be my co-host all day. You know her from One Tree Hill. Mm -hmm. You know her from TRL on MTV. Please give a huge welcome to the gorgeous Hilary Burton. <laughs> It's nice, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I wish our sets on our show were this nice. <laughs> All right, Hillary, two jobs in two different states. Yes. Where do you live? Right now, I, I kind of gave up my New York apartment. I've been living in New York since I graduated high school, and I um, I moved down to North Carolina to start doing this TV show, One Tree Hill, and it's it's so cool down there. You know, it's just this really great historic area, and it's super creepy, and, you know, it's nice because it's like the beach, and it's also a college town, mm -hmm. and so... I live in this really great old house down there with my little brother. So it, that's too. my home sweet home now. I'm originally from Virginia, so it's a lot like where I grew up. Yeah. So I like living there quite a bit. So do you miss, like, the New York lifestyle, the L.A. lifestyle? I do. You know, I've never lived in L.A. I moved to New York right after I graduated high school, and so that was kind of, you know, everybody else went to college, and I went to New York. You know, I was going to school in New York, but going to school in New York is totally different from going to school anywhere else, yeah, you know, because all of a sudden you're in the city, and the city is your campus, and the subway is your, you know, school transportation, your school bus, if you will, so I, um, I love New York, and I love how busy it is, and I love how colorful it is, but it's nice to slow down a minute and work somewhere that's not so industry, you know, North Carolina is just like, hey man, how's work, cool, all right. But they do do a lot of filming down there, Yeah, they? yeah, they've done a lot of movies down there, Dawson's Creek used to shoot down there, so we've kind of taken over their whole existence yeah. um, and lots of movies are done down there it's a really great place to film because you have everything you know you've got the beach and you've got cool old historic places you know that you can use for for period pieces mm -hmm. and there's just a lot at your fingertips down there an amazing crew so I, I really like it so okay you saying that you live in an old house yes it's haunted. Get out of here. I know, I'm so excited. No, listen, listen, listen. No, no, I swear, it really is haunted. And at first, I didn't believe in this. Like, I'm a really big fan of New Orleans. Like, New Orleans, that's where I'm going to retire. I love it more than any other place in the whole world. And so I moved down to Wilmington, and there's, like, a certain creepy historic district there. It's kind of like the Garden District in New Orleans, these beautiful homes with great backyards and stuff. And so I find this place for rent. And uh, I automatically have a connection with it. I was just walking around with my boyfriend. I'm like, I'm living here. It and felt good. Yeah, he's like, you haven't even looked at the inside. And I'm like, nope, this is where I'm going to live. It's perfect. So I moved in, and, uh, and I went and I was hanging out with an elderly couple that lives on the corner. And they started to tell me about the woman who lived in my house. And she lived in the house her whole life, from 1914 to 1992. She um, was part of this really awesome, like, artistic bohemian community that existed down in Wilmington. And, uh, you know, she never married, never had any kids, never had siblings or anything. So when she died, that was it. That was it. So I think she's taking a fancy to my little brother. Um, you know, we started to hear footsteps and things. How old is your brother? My brother's 20. Uh, he moved down. He's living with me. He's a PA on the show. Uh-huh. So we started to hear footsteps, little things like this. You know, my boyfriend claimed to see somebody walk by him in the shower, uh, which is creepy. Um, and I'm just like, ha-ha, whatever, no big deal, no big deal. Well, just recently, I think she's really gotten upset with my brother seeing other girls because we came home, and there was a candle lit waiting for him in a room. and then um, wine. Oh, yeah, I mean, this candle's lit, and it's kind of a hidden candle. It's behind some stained glass, and so nobody knew it was even there. I'm the only one that knew it was there. And I'm like, well, that's weird. Okay. So he's watching TV the other day on the couch with a girl, and all of a sudden from my parlor, a picture comes flying off the wall. No reason, nail's still there, bracket's still attached to the back of the picture. There's no reason for it to have come off the wall, except for that maybe the girl is getting a little too comfortable with my brother. So... Oh. I know, right? So then he calls me two days ago, and he's like, dude, when are you coming back? Like, I don't like being here by myself. I'm like, what happened? I'm getting ready to close the door, and I hear from the back of the house, Billy. And I'm, no, you didn't. No. It's your brother's yes, name. Yes, yes. He heard his name called from the back of the house. And obviously, I mean, there was nobody there. He's home by himself, and so... Little Billy is a little freaked out. I think I think Hester's taken a liking to him. Do you think you might move? No, I'm not going to move at all. She's great. You know, she's a painter and I paint, and and I really like the energy in the house. So your house is old. Do you have like old furniture? I do. I you know I uh, my dad's an antique dealer, and so I've got a lot of cool old pieces and 
I, I really like like southern gothic um, decoration and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So I, uh, I have some interesting antique finds. Um, they're, I like unique things. Me too. I like old. Yes, old I is like better, old. I do. Because it's like everything tells a story. It's like my favorite thing is to have like an old dining table uh -huh. because I think of all the people Who that sat there? at that table yeah, and it's have nice eaten. To, it's nice to have something where you're just a chapter in its story. Yeah. You know, where as opposed to it just being a chapter in your story. Yeah, because it's it'll just go on and on. On and on and on, yes. Now, in One Tree Hill, it's always very dramatic. Isn't it? Love triangles. Mm -hmm. And you're always right in the middle of everything, Hillary. I'm a kissing bandit. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. There's a lot of that going on. The boys, I mean, they're good-looking boys. I have a pretty yes, nice, easy you job. Do. You do, because <laughs> they've been on this show and they are gorgeous. We've got a clip of you. Oh, do we? Okay, mm -hmm. let's have a look. Uh oh. <laughs> Lots of love on the show. Very dramatic. I, I love it. We cry every it. other day. It's just <laughs> so sad and epic. But that's we all do. That's life. When right? you're 16, you do cry every A other lot. day. So, um, music. Your yes. character. Yeah, it's great. You know, I, I really um, loves music. She and does. You love music. Well, I work at MTV, so obviously I'm, I'm a pretty big fan of music, and it's nice because she's more. You know, I work on TRL where there's a lot of like the pop bands and stuff like that, and. I grew up listening to rock and roll, like Elvis Costello and David Bowie, like those were my guys, mm -hmm. you know, and so it's nice to play a character that's into more of the same music I'm into, like I'm super into the darkness. Um, no, and, I no, heard listen, it. Listen, no, I wanted to talk to you about the darkness, because they're from the UK, you know, and oh god, they're so cool. Aren't they, they awesome? They are uh, my, one of my favorite bands okay, right now. Okay, if you guys Love haven't them. checked out the darkness, they're very, it's like, Queen slash early David Bowie slash little Rod Stewart in there, yeah. you know, it's just fun. David Lee Roth. Yeah. I want to be their video girl so bad. I'm petitioning. No, listen. Remember Tawny Catan? A little white snake action? Yeah, doing cartwheels on the hood of the car. I want to be the darkness video girl. But we'll have to set that up. They were playing here just the other night. I missed it by a day. Oh. One day. You see this? This is my heart breaking all over the floor. <laughs> They no. are they are great though, aren't they? Do you they? know them? Yeah. Are you gonna pull strings for me, please? Yeah, absolutely. No, listen, I would die. Toured with them Did she really? Yeah, yeah. God, they're so cool. They I just love great. them so much and their videos are just fun and well, we'll it's a nice to, throwback. We'll have to um set you guys I'll up. I'll give you my firstborn child. I'm okay. no, I'm not And that's a deal. I'm so that excited. is a deal I cannot okay, refuse. Okay, great. Excellent. All right. So stick around. Yes. Okay. Because we're going to have a great show today. You've got us both for the whole show. That's right. We also have a lot of other cool stuff going on. We uh, From Street Smarts, we have host Frank Nicotero. He's going to come by and hang out with us. And Cypress Hill is going to perform. Love them. Very excited about that. And my co-star from One Tree Hill, Paul Johansson, is going to be here. So you guys don't go anywhere. <laughs>